past five weeks or more, we have been telling you about various IIT's PhD program. We began this journey by telling you about IIT Bombay, followed by IIT Madras, then IIT Delhi, and very lately, IIT Kanpur. I am sure that many of you must be wondering, why are we suddenly discussing so many IIT's PhD program? One of the major reason for this is that IIT's admission to the July 2023 PhD program are currently open. And we thought, being your PhD mentor, advisor and trainer, why not empower you with some genuine and well-researched information about these prestigious institute so that you can take a well-informed decision about your future PhD journey. Today in this video, I, Dr. Ritika Gava, is going to discuss about another IIT whose foundation was laid 104 years back in the year 1919. Bharat Ratan Mahamana Shri Pandit Madan Mohan Malviyaji laid the foundation of the first residential university of modern India. We all know this university by the name of Banaras Hindu University. He also realized the importance of engineering and technical education to strengthen the independent India and accordingly laid the foundation of Banaras College of Engineering or Benko in the year 1919. Subsequently, two more technical and engineering institutes were developed in the Banaras campus. All these three institutes in the year 1968 were merged together to form the erstwhile ITBHU. The erstwhile ITBHU was a high performing engineering institute and it continued to do so even after the establishment of several IITs. And this was the reason that in 2012, through the Act of Parliament, the erstwhile ITBHU was converted to IIT BHU, which is now one of the leading IITs of the country. The dedication, the focus that ITBHU or the erstwhile ITBHU had towards engineering and various technical education is still reflected strongly in the PhD programs which is being offered by the current IIT BHU. IIT BHU offers a PhD in several subjects and domains through its 10 engineering departments, three science departments, one humanistic study department and three interdisciplinary schools. Through, through its various schools and departments, IIT BHU offers you a PhD in subject domains like engineering, science, pharmacy, architecture, planning and design. It also offers you a PhD in humanistic studies under which we have subjects like literature, gender studies, professional communication, social anthropology, sociology, psychology, philosophy and so on. Unlike all the previous IITs that we've discussed on our channel, who were exclusively offering a PhD through in management, IIT BSU does not offer a PhD in management. However, it does offer you a PhD in industrial management under which you can pursue PhD in subjects like social, uh, in supply chain management and in operation system. Besides this, as we had already mentioned, it also has three interdisciplinary schools through which it is also offering a PhD in engineering and technical education. The details of these three interdisciplinary schools are given on the screen. You can pause the video and have a close look. So many IITs encourage the students to pursue a PhD through the interdisciplinary schools. However, IIT BHU has gone a step further and encourages or wants its student to pursue a multidisciplinary study. I'm giving you a quotation from the research guidelines of IIT PH2, which states joint registrations for PhD program involving more than one department and school are encouraged to promote multidisciplinary research. 
so now that you are well aware of all the subjects and domains in which iit bhu is offering your phd let us move on to understanding whether you can pursue a full time phd or a part time phd from this prestigious institute so iit bhu lets you pursue either a full time or a part time phd in case you are a working professional who wants to continue working while they pursue a phd then you should opt for a part time phd option however if you are a student who wants to dedicate all their time and effort to pursuing their research and is also looking for a monthly stipend then you should opt for a full time phd option the full time students are given a fellowship by the institute of up to 31000 rupees of course if you have qualified any other jrf examination or any other fellowship examination then you will be given a stipend according to the protocols of that fellowship that you have qualified there is no option of joining as a full time student without any fellowship which is an option which is available in many other iits and have also been mentioned in our videos besides this the full time students have also to dedicate at least 8 hours of assistantship during a week now what are the qualifications which are required to join the iit bhu phd program so in case you want to join as a full time fellow then you are required to either have a masters degree with at least 60% marks or you should have a four year graduation degree with at least 75% marks besides this you also need to qualify some or the other eligibility examination which is suitable to your research domain in case you are a student who wants to join as a part time fellow then in that case besides having a masters degree with 60% marks or a four year graduation degree with 75% marks you also need to have minimum of 2 years of full time experience okay. please note that if you are an outstanding student who has qualified from a premier institute then you would be exempted from the requirement of having an eligibility exam however like all the other students you would also have to submit an sop or a research proposal whatever is required by the your research department and you would also have to appear for your research viva for your final selection with this we come to the iit bhu phd details the last date for applying for the july 2023 session was 6th of april we had shared the same in our reel on our youtube channel but in case you have not been able to apply for the july 2023 session do not worry the admissions for iit bhu phd program will reopen very soon probably in the month of october for their january 2024 session till then focus on preparing for the admission process of this prestigious institute in case you are looking for a phd mentor guide and advisor who can handhold you guide you throughout your phd admission journey who can help you decide what is the most suitable research topic and areas for you who can guide you in preparing a statement of purpose who can guide you on preparing a research proposal on preparing for your phd viva or can suggest you suitable universities and institute to apply for as per your qualifications and goal then you can get in touch with me on the number given below for a one to one mentoring session thank you so much for watching my videos do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel